Hey guys, it's Yusuf5 here, and uh, welcome to my little thingamajiggy. I'm building a 4-bit calculator. Now, I started off, I was going to make it 16-bit, and that's kind of what I'm doing here. But, 16-bits, well, massive. <laughs> so I cut it down, I'm like, you know what, I'm just doing the 8-bit. And I'm doing it with a 7-segment display. And 8-bit uh, is would be possible, but it took up so many chunks that the ones right at the end weren't loaded. So I decided to cut it back down to 4 bits. Anyway, that's the full adder, uh, link in the description for that, and also the decoder uh, link for the person who I got the idea for that off of in the description. So yeah, I'm basically just kind of building it. The, the uh, full adder is going to be in yellow, and well that it wouldn't work, so I had to kind of copy it over uh, by hand, which was a little bit painful. But uh, yeah, anyway. Um, it's only an adding thing at the moment. I will be expanding it if I can get the time up to do so. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just like making sure everything works, explaining that I won't be adding anything more to it, but I will be because it's actually not that hard. I'm just uh, copying it over so that all the uh, outputs are the same and so that it's all lined up properly. Changing the buttons into levers, adjusting my settings because there's so much redstone particles that's actually breaking my computer. Um, so this bit here is probably the most redstone advanced bit, the full adder. I understand how it works, but uh, damn it. It's advanced. Anyway, um, so that's it. There you go. That is your 4-bit redstone, well that's actually 8-bit at the moment, 8-bit redstone calculator. But I'm going to take it down to 4 bits when I get to the decoder bit, which is just coming up. Blue uh, wool means buses. Pink is the decoder. Green is the secondary decoder. And uh, yellow is, well, the full letters. So that's how I've done that. Now, basically the way this works is it just kind of determines every single possible output, which means that for a 30, for, sorry, for a 16-bit one, there would be... I thought it, I think it was about 512. No, 128 times 2. It's 256 possible outputs uh, minus 2 for the adder. But it's it's it was way too many. It took up two, 512 blocks basically. And at that point, it wasn't loaded as you can see here. I'm going along and I'm like, holy sh! It took me about five minutes each way. Um, I was actually planning on doing this as a time lapse. It worked out quite well. Uh, I was recording voice with this the whole time, but I was running low on hard drive space at the end, and when I tried to render it out, it didn't work very well. So instead, I'm doing a time lapse. Uh, while I talk over it, I was going to just edit it down. It took me two and a half hours to build this damn thing. Um, so yeah, pretty damn. Like at this point, I think I've been in for an hour and a half or so. Um, my parents weren't in the background like they are now, they're all out. Uh, my parents are out with some friends at the moment, but for some reason on this version, the sound doesn't work until I get to the bit where I'm finalising. So, this is me the day after I've built it, um, and in a couple minutes you will hear me uh, just after I've completed building it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bloody hell, this took a long time. Um, feel free to try copy it. I will be uh, quickening it up, I've worked out a way. Uh, if anyone wants me to explain it to you, too bad. If you don't want to, if you don't want me to explain it to you, too bad. I'm telling you anyway. Uh, that's a Borderlands reference. You might not get it if you don't watch my Borderlands thing, or if you don't watch anyone's because you can't hear it very well on mine. Anyway, um, basically, if if like the 32-bit carryover that I have, the last one, um, if I decided to split that, take the second half of it, put put it on top, I could essentially double the speed for the higher numbers. Um, because by just running it through uh, like an if gate, I'm going to call it an if gate because I've learnt programming. So basically, if 32 is true, it'll go to the top. If 32 is false, the signal will go to the bottom, and that will pretty much double the speed for the top one. Uh, I'm getting to the end of it. No, I'm not. Um, that was a bit there that I just edited out, where for some reason the footage cut to a let's play of me and Peter playing in this uh, this wizards thing. <sighs> anyway. Is you know that if you're running on hard drive space, as in, you know, 70 gigs left, Premiere will not want to work very well. And if you actually, I managed to hit my hard drive limit 
while recording this. Um, I also happened to render it in 1080p. This thing took 12 hours to render because it sped up so fast. <sighs> anyway, I'm doing a double render, which you should never do, but I'm doing a double render because I don't want to render this all out again. And, I mean, like, you can you can barely see it. There's so much onion skinning in most parts that uh, doing a double render wouldn't affect it too much. Still, you shouldn't do it. Um, it's not a good idea, double rendering. If you don't know what that means, it means rendering it once and then putting it through a renderer again. It lowers the quality, it compresses it more than it's supposed to. So this is the green bit. This basically, you know, once you've worked out what the, you know, what the number is, so the pink bit works out what the number is, and the uh, green bit will determine which segments to light up when that number is turned on. And I did have a few bugs for some reason when I uh, world edited this. All of the torches, not all of them, but a hell of a lot of the torches in the pink bit fell off. I had to go replace them all. Uh, and when I copied over the green, uh, some of it didn't work. And when I built the room, uh, I blocked off the stuff. And so yeah, there was a lot of troubleshooting, especially in the pink where it's most complicated. So yeah, it was... This is the biggest project I've ever done in Redstone, and I am proud of it. Um, it's like when you finish something that you've worked for a long time on, you've always kind of wondered about it, and you finally get it finished. It's my turn to shut up, so see you next time, or in a few seconds. Okay guys, I'm really running out of hard drive space, so I have to make this bit quick, but as you can see, I've uh, finished up the room here, and I've actually completed it, so <coughs> I did use a bit of world edit to do the rest of it. I'll show you the back of it later. Just so that you know it works, so 16 and 8 is 24, plus 8 is 32, that'll use all the carryover for 32, and it should update in just a second. Hello, just those two is that. One second, I might have screwed up when I built this room, I, uh, I do know that a bit of the stuff here, the, the top ones here don't work, because they're all blocked off. There we go. So now it says 32. And, uh, what, like, 16, 16, and 8, that should be 30, 40. It's still saying 32, there we go. So it does take a bit to update, uh, especially with high numbers, but for numbers like 1, it's lightning fast once it realizes that it doesn't need to display that number and then two see it clicked onto three for a second there now for a quick flyover so uh, here we go flyover mode engaged look at this thing this was a new world a few hours ago so I don't know, but I consider that success. I'm pleased with that flyover. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the decoder, uh, sorry, the seven bit thing is in green. And if I go back into this mode here, um, you can see that basically what I did was I took this bit here, repeated it 10 times and then pasted it six times because it goes up to 60 something. And then I took this bit here and just went, well, that's zero, that's one, and you just do that ten times for this half here. bit that confused me was this repeater here was actually, that's still part of this one over this side. So I put the repeater in the wrong place, but hey, chicken a do. This is messy as hell, but it works. This is screwed up. Guys, if you're trying to build this again, invert this, okay? I got that wrong. It does need to be inverted and move this away because it was being powered by that torch. So, yeah. I don't know why it'd be copying from me. I edited a hell of a lot of this out, so... Yeah. This is my calculator. Let's turn them all on. It'll probably not work because the higher numbers are kind of screwy yuppy. But let's see, it should be 62. 52, 56, 59. 60. Yeah. yeah, I've told you the higher numbers don't work. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
60. It's kind of a 64 looking number. Let's see what the highest number we can get. 68. So yeah, the higher numbers aren't that great, but when you're ever going to need to add up numbers like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. They're probably just... I mean, it gets pretty buggy that high up. But chunks might not even be loaded. No, they are. Never mind. Yeah, um, I still have a bit of troubleshooting to do, but... Don't base this on my architecture and material choices. Um, yeah, if you like this, a hell of a lot of effort went into this. I spent about a day trying to work out how to do this. And then another day building it. It's the first project I've ever had that looks impressive. I mean, that actually looks pretty cool to me. When people show off their redstone creations and it looks something like this. I go, oh my god, how do you even do that? But yeah, anyway, I'm user f uh, Well, I'm user 5, I've been on this will be. And I will see you guys next time. And I ran out of this space, like I told you, so...